Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to merge multiple displacement maps in Maya into a single displacement map and usually the problem being is that my ZBrush displacement is like this. It's dark, um, the mid is uh, different to the Mari one. The one that came out from Mari is lighter and so that becomes quite hard to merge them in softwares. So in Maya it's quite simple, you want to first of all add them as textures which are minor UDIMs. And the next step, I'm going to type a plus minus average. And with the plus minus average, you can drag the out color into input there, drag the out color from your other texture there. Uh, sorry, not between there. Um, just before you add that in, you will grab a multiply divide put it into the input one and in here this is kind of where you change your value to make it suit um, the other displacement so what I have in mind to make because this is my pore detail it is 0 0.1 and that as you can already see it darkens the image um, that may not be completely accurate to my other displacement map but it tended to work out fine for me so added that in as the other input. So all you want to do once you've got that all in place is you want to select your displacement, which if you haven't already got, you create V-Ray, V-Ray displacement, apply single V-Ray displacement node, and that's to whatever object you have selected. Mine would be my head. And once you have that, you should have your head mesh underneath there. And you want to select your displacement and middle mouse drag it into here. Now mine won't work because I already have a displacement in there and when I render I will show you the two displacement maps together. Sweet, so as you can see now as my guy renders, um, he has the eyebrow wrinkle things, um, just all the slight details, they would be my ZBrush displacement, without them you wouldn't see it. And then on top of that you've got my Mari displacement which is probably a bit too high at the moment. But you can see all the pores and the dots and the wrinkles and whatnot. And so you can obviously play around with them to get them right. I uh, hope this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys later.